guys, so welcome back to another edition of Shannon at the Movies, also known as I'm Shannon Gates C's channel. I'm your host as always, Shannon Gates C, or whatever you want to call me. And today I just thought I would like go over a few of my like favorite movies of 2019. Um, maybe I'll do an anticipated one for this year, like 2020, in a couple of minutes or um, so as soon as this one and um, one for talking Star Wars. Get it, Star Wars <laughs> is um done uploading as well. And I'm not gonna go in on any particular order. I'll try not to give spoilers away. I'll probably just do what I usually do, like say why I liked it when I didn't. Um, I haven't seen as many films as I would have thought as well. So here it just goes, my own honest my honest um opinion. Like I've yet to see cats for for versus Ferrari and once upon a time in Hollywood and a bunch of others, but yeah. So, um <clears throat> You got a Star is Born. Um, me and my sister, Carly, we are huge fans of Lady Gaga, that, like, pop kind of singer. So it's, like, we were quite surprised when, like, when she got announced. Um, she did perfect. Bradley Cooper did perfect as usual. I'm kind of excited to, like, see, like, what, like, they both do next, like, separately or whatever. Because, like, there's been a few rumors going on, like, if there ever was, like, another version of, um, Little Mermaid that maybe, um... Lady Gaga could be, like, Ursula, or even, like, Little Mermaid, like, Ariel, like, dye her ha hair kind of, like, a reddish, or just keep it, like, the way that Star is Born was, like, the brown, like, brown type thingy. But I'm excited to, like, see, what, like, what they both do in general. Maybe even, like, Bradley Cooper's next directing project, whatever it could be. Because, like, he's done loads probably since then. He also co- wrote or, like, produced one of my favorite films of 2019, which I'm probably gonna say best for last. Next, you have Rise of Skywalker. Um, I was excited to see, slash sad to see, um, J&J, in a great way for the sad part, to see J.J. Um, finish this up. I knew a few of these little thingies were going to happen beforehand, but I love the way that they did that. Um, there was nothing that I didn't like. Shut up, phone. I'm doing stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'll probably, um, ask for a rise for like Christmas or my birthday in May. Mm, maybe I'll um, do like a non uh, a spoiler review type thingy of the Rise of Skywalker thingy next week or um whatever. We don't I don't think we have any like Star Wars type news besides uh, a little picture thingy of Mandalorian but my iPad's changing or else I would have um, showed you guys what John Favreau posted. But go check him out on um, Twitter. Next, you have Avengers Endgame. I was sad to see Tom Tony Stark go, and I was, like, excited to see, like, how they wrapped it up after Infinity War. I'm quite excited to, like, see, like, what happens next. Like, what is going to happen, you guys? <clears throat> like, what's the next film going to be about besides, like, these TV series thingies? Because I know that there's that Thor one. Um, Love and Thunder. There's like another Doctor Strange or something coming in a few other movies, but I'm like excited for like this next Avengers movie that like, could include, I believe, the X Men or um, the Fantastic Four. Like they're probably casting a few little thingies. Like right now, we're playing around with a few little ideas, even though I'm sure that they probably like have it mapped up like the Russo brothers or whoever um the next director is because like we have black widow standalone movie also coming around my birthday i believe i'll probably go see that and i'll give you guys like my reaction to that maybe like a thought on walk type thingy like i go walk home and i pardon me and i give you guys my honest thoughts or something or maybe i'll just wait until like the next day just to give you guys on my little thoughts <clears throat> also you have Rocket Man, I loved what um, Dexter Fletcher, I believe, did with Bohemian Rhapsody. Like, he directed part of it. But I was quite excited to see what he would do with Rocket Man, which was fabulous. Um, I cannot wait to see, like, whatever um, the next film biography kind of would be about, like, musicals. Like, there may be a Prince or a Michael Jackson one. I would personally love to see, like, I don't know, Ewan McGregor take on David Bowie. Like, he could, like, have, like, street-colored hairs or, and, like, facial makeup. Sort of like this film called, um, Velvet Goldmine, I believe. In, like, 1990s with Ewan in it. And a bunch of um, other people. Jude Law or somebody. No, Jonathan Rhys Myers and a few um, other people. 
and Eddie Izzard, I believe it was, or Iggy Stardust or somebody. But yeah, and it was kind of like a David Bowie type thingy. Not to mention, um, there is this film in, like, I think 2000 called Moulin Rouge, which is, like, one of Ewan's best besides, like, Star Wars and stuff like that. So, yeah. <laughs> and I'm excited to see, like, what um, Taryn does next. And, like, all these other casts. Um, Jamie Bell, I believe, or something. And a few um, other people. I love Lion King, speaking of, like, Elton John, because Rocketman's obviously an Elton John thingy. Like, Rocketman was um, one of his songs, I believe. I don't know if that was the full title. Rocketman or something else, I believe. But anyways, I love John Favreau's Lion King. You guys can hate me all for that, since a few people probably am hated as well. I loved um, all the casting. Can I wait to see, like, if there's going to be a sequel? Like, which one's more likely to get a sequel? I think they're um, filming Jungle Book 2 probably soon. Like, um, that live-action sequel to, like, Favreau's 2017 or 16 movie. I could be wrong. It could even be, like, 2018. Like I said, my iPad's um, charging, so... I'll probably, like, put that in the comments. I'll be, like, that little star symbol, then I'll be, like, 2000 and whatever. Not to mention, some people actually think that he could be doing that rumored Star Wars movie. Because, like, we're supposed to get an announcement, I believe, this month sometime about a movie. So it's like this. Who's movie? Are we going to figure out anything else? Like, is it going to be John Favreau, guys? Like, that's kind of what I think. Like, I think it's going to be somebody that's already worked with them. Like, it could be Favreau, it could be whoever, I guess it depends on, maybe Gareth Edwards. Like, nobody's heard from him, basically, besides his little cameo in, um, The Last Jedi. Unless he's, like, doing another project or whatever, but, like, yeah, or maybe he'll even help out. If you guys watch my Talking Star Wars video, I think he'll probably also somehow help out with, um, Cassie and or maybe be, like, a director of an episode. Um, but, yeah. <clears throat> Obviously, why not just throw this one out there while I'm kind of on the topic of you, and then I'm gonna go over my favorite, favorite movie of 2019. Um, Doctor Sleep. It's a sequel to The Shining, for those of you guys that don't know. It's like, if you guys have seen that Jamie Lee Curtis in 2018 Halloween, it's basically like that, like, what, 40 years after Stephen King's the Shining. There's a bunch of um, callbacks. The cast was amazing. I cannot wait to see like what they do next. Obviously, I think Ewan's doing Kenobi next, or they probably are like filming that right now. I think he also was doing like a motorcycle film, all the way up, all the way down, something like that. Rebecca Ferguson, I believe she is in Doom. That um, Denise Villeneuve um, reboot. So I cannot like wait to like see that. Maybe she'll also be like in um, the next two back to back Mission Impossible's because wasn't she the love interest of Ethan Hunt? But um, yeah, and everybody else in it. <clears throat> and obviously, here I'm gonna just get off my bed so I can show you guys my favorite film of 2019. I don't have it on DVD yet because I don't think it's on DVD. Over here in Canada, I meant to get like a sweater for Christmas of it, but it got lost in the mail and I ended up getting a Mandalorian shirt, but still really great. Hopefully I don't knock my thing over. Eh. Give me like a second, you guys. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Too bad there's like no option. Like you tap it and then it goes this way. Joker, also known as Arthur Fleck. I love my Joaquin Phoenix look. Look at guys. <laughs> like I got um that calendar right there for Christmas. Me and my mom um custom made it. But I am um, loved it. It's probably like, one of my favorite Joaquin Phoenix roles. Um, besides this one, right here, Walk the Line. Even though um there's I'm sure a bunch of um others of his. So, like, everyone loves Gladiator and, um, a few others. Great. I missed his, um, birthday video. I forget if I ever did, um, a birthday video thingy for him because it was, like, in October. If I did, wait until next year, guys. 
I'll definitely include um, Joker and um, a few other thingies. But I love this. Like, no, wait, if, like, there's, like, there's um, a bunch of rumors going on that there's going to be a sequel. I cannot wait for that. Because, like, it's, like, where is it going to go? Is his Joker going to, Arth- also, no, Arthur Fleck. Is his Joker going to meet Harley Quinn at any time? Also, you guys, um, there's this little fun fact. Okay. I'm showing a lot of my Joaquin Phoenix stuff, apparently. So there's this movie. It's called, um, You Were Never Really Here. This is... This is, um, the book called You Were Never Really Here. So we look if there's, like, bad lighting. In the f- movie, um, Joaquin's character named Joe, he helps out, like, people that are going to be, um, prostitutes, basically. Or, like, save them from doing that. And his character named Joe, obviously, like I said, he gets abused by his father at, like, the very beginning of the movie or through flashbacks. And the young boy that plays the flashbacks is actually this guy named Dante Piero Olsen, if I'm not mistaken. Give me, like, a second. Yeah, Dante Piero Olsen, I believe. And he played young Bruce Wayne in Joker. Or should we say Bruce Wayne in Joker, which was, I guess, a fun callback. Like, if you guys have seen You Were Never Really Here... Then, um, yeah. Eh? Like, that was... Like, I just, like, noticed that. Because, like, I'm pretty sure I don't think I've ever seen Walk the Line. My first walking film was probably, like, in 2009 or... Maybe even, like, the 2000s. When I was, like, in... I want to be, like, elementary school for um this one called Brother Bear from, like, 2004. And then I probably didn't know he was in Walk the Line. That was my sister's, I'm pretty sure, the Walk the Line movie. And then I just recently saw Joker, like, twice, a bunch of times. And then I started watching, like, this, Gladiator, in a bunch of other movies. But, yeah. So those are my, like, uh, 2019 ones. I'm probably going to do, like, a podcast or a video type thingy. Later, on like, anticipated ones of 2020. Maybe I'll also throw in Joker, too. In case that gets greenlit. Because I think Joaquin Phoenix wants to be back. Todd Phillips probably has an idea. Bradley Cooper, whoever has an idea. Maybe they even have, like, a, somebody in mind for, like, Harley Quinn. If she were to um, meet him. Even though it's, like, the, a different version. But who knows? Or maybe Arthur slash Joker, Joaquin's Joker, obviously, will probably have somebody else's love interest. Maybe one of us fangirls, because, like, a bunch of us, including myself, love Joaquin's Joker. I don't like him, Jerry Leto's. Heath, Heath Ledger's was pretty great as well. Why so serious? I guess...